Hey, today you will learn how to make a drilling and graphics template for your DIY guitar pedals. We will use the free image editor GIMP. Before we start, you need to determine the placement of your parts like potentiometers and switches. Measure the box size and distances between parts and enclosure edges. Note everything, install GIMP and we are ready to start. To create a new project in GIMP, click File, then New and now you must set the image size of our enclosure size. So I will use millimeters and my enclosure is 64 millimeters by 114 millimeters. So this is my empty canvas, uh, first layer, background. Now we need to add um, guides. It will help us to determine the center of the image. So we can click image, guides, new guide by percent. And we need to add two guides, one horizontal and one vertical in 50%. So first horizontal and once again vertical. So this is our center. As you probably seen, edges are a bit rounded on our enclosure, so we will create graphics only in the flat area. So we will limit right now our image a bit. I usually set another guides uh, to limit uh, the image around two uh, millimeters from the edge. To add another guide, you can click here on a ruler, hold and drag to wanted place. In the bottom, you will see here the position of the guide. As you see, I'm changing the position, uh, the numbers are changing also. So I need it two millimeters from the top. The same for the bottom, 114, 112. Okay. And another two on the sides. Okay, <laughs> uh, so now let's create a border around uh, our graphics. It will be useful to uh, cut the drilling template or also can be a part of the graphic design. So for this we will create another layer. Right click in this space and click the new layer. You can name it border and be sure to fill with transparency. Okay, so this is now our layer, background is white, and let's create the border. So for this, click Rectangle Select, and now we need to set rounded corners and set the radius. I like to use 35 radius, but you can uh, try a different. Also, uh, as you see, my selection sticks to the guides. If uh, that doesn't happen in your case, you can click uh, View and select Snap to Guides. If you have this selected, uh, the selection will always snap to guides. So now you can just drag it to the full size to our border guides, like this. And now we will create the border. Click Edit, Stroke Selection, and here you can set the width of the border. Also, you can change the color. I will leave it black. So let's check how it will look with six pixels. Okay, so as you see, we have a nice border on this layer. You can turn it off, turn it on. Okay, so what's next? Let's deselect everything, select no. Now we need to determine the placement of potentiometers and foot switch. So I measured my potentiometers should be 15 millimeters from the edge. So let's make another guide to mark the 15 millimeters. And I need foot switch 14 millimeters from the bottom. So let's mark it around 100. Okay, looks good. 
Now I measured that my potentiometers are 31 millimeters from each other measured from the center. So right now I need to create another guide to determine the exact placement of each potentiometer with the foot switch we already have the center. So I will put two another guides 15.5 from the center to the right so it will be 46.5 there it is and another 15.5 millimeters from the center to the left. So now I will create another layer we will call it drill fill with transparency and on this layer be sure you have selected it we will create small dots to mark the placement of each part so one potentiometer second potentiometer and foot switch you can create dots or crosses for better vision so now drilling template is ready you can print it cut it and stick to your enclosure to make the holes. In my next videos I will show you how you can create graphics for your pedal using this template and how to apply it to the enclosure with a cheap and easy method. I did the same for this pedal and actually I shoot the video creating this pedal. If you want to learn more about building guitar pedals, you can get my free ebook about creating a distortion pedal on breadboard or you can get a DIY kit and pedal building course on my shop. Links below. Cheers! Have a great day!